What is up guys? So um, I'm waiting on some parts, so I figured I would make a little update video on how the car is going and what still has to be done and what doesn't and everything. So as it sits right now, here's the car. The engine's in, um, obviously there was a video for that. I have a new intake, it comes out over here. I have converted over to an actual radiator type of setup here, so now I have an actual fill. Um, I got rid of the really ugly expansion tank. Here's the overflow for the radiator. So I guess we'll go on about this now. So I tried to fill it with some coolant and it's leaking out down there right where the uh, lower radiator hose goes in. I put a gasket on it and didn't seal, I guess. So I'm gonna take it off, take the gasket off of it and RTV it like I should have in the first place. Right here, this is my reservoir for my power steering system. I'm gonna be running dash six and dash eight AN to the rack so there's no hydro boost anymore. Um, I had the master cylinder on here. I'm doing manual brakes for that uh, because I got rid of hydro boost. So I, that's why my uh, power steering is on its own system now. Um, I'm gonna be running the lines for that to this week sometime. I have coil over on this side, but I have a little issue with the coil overs. I don't know if you can see this, but it's all oblonged. It won't allow me to actually get it low enough. I think as far in as I can turn the damn thing, it's like higher than stock. So I'm kind of hoping that the driver's side that's all together, I can actually turn it in and uh, I'm not gonna have to buy two lower mounts because they're like $75 each. I have Maximum Motorsports caster camera plates up top. Some brake lines, I believe they're in the wrong way because they hit the wheel real bad. Um, I converted over to New Edge dual piston calipers in the front. Now you see I have my knuckles and everything. Um, I kind of like cleaned up the wiring a little bit. I still have to find a home for this. Uh, what else we got? The interior is in the same. The interior is in the same state it's been. <laughs> There's the drive shaft. Still working on the trunk setup here, but I have the fuel cell in it. You guys saw the battery box video. My fuel pump and my fuel filter. Uh, this here is just a vent, so I need to put a little grommet in here so people don't bitch at tech. This is the feed line, so it comes up here, goes around, goes through the filter, out the hole here. I still need to put a grommet there as well. And then, let me show underneath. So I have the lines coming out of the trunk there, and they go up to the actual lines there. I still have to run a couple more. Here's the lines coming out of the cell. I have the rear in. Got some sweet arms in there as well. Let's check out the interior, I guess. There's not much in there. <laughs> so it's still in the same state that it was in before. Where the rod is coming out there for the master cylinder, I have to drill a hole in the actual um, brake pedal arm itself and mount that so that it has the proper angle and everything. This is my roll cage. So it's um, the same kind of cage that was in the car last time. Amoroso, it's the 10 point though this time. I didn't have a 10 point last time. So I got the main hoop. Um, these are the down bars in the front and you have some other bars there. I still need to get the rest of the kit. I don't actually have that. I got my, the feel 441s here. This is where I'm having the issue with these lower mounts. I'm either gonna try and uh, repair that, make it kind of round so that it'll actually go in or just buy new ones and not deal with that. I'm probably not gonna end up using these because um, these are Ford EFI specific fuel rail adapters. So they go right in the fuel rail and they're quick release. Well, they're supposed to be quick release. They don't actually lock in place. The only thing holding them on is these little clips here, which are just like a safety measure. <laughs> so if these fall off, while I'm driving, then that's gonna go up in flames. So I'm not sure if I'm running that yet. Obviously it runs. I've wanted to put coolant in it because I wanted it to wire up the fans and stuff so that I can actually start it and let it run and get up to operating temperature. But I can't because it's got a coolant leak. It's annoying. I still need to finish the PCV system. I need to find the elbow for this side because I cannot find it for the life of me. Um, I have the PCV valve over here, which needs to just run here and go into this. 
but then you got this which needs the elbow and i can't find it so i broke my other one and my other valve covers I can't find my other valve cover to even take another one from it. So I still got to put the brakes in the rear, obviously install the cage. Once the cage is installed, then I can start putting the interior back together. And when the interior is back together, that means I can start wiring up all my gauges and everything else that needs to actually be wired up. This car is going to run on a actual push button start this time because for some reason, put the engine back in and I don't get a starter signal with the key. I have no idea why. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I've got this wire here. I think it's this one. Or is it this one? This one or this one? I don't remember which one it is, but one of those wires goes directly to the starter. That's the signal wire. So I'm just gonna tap into that and push button start. I'm still gonna use the key on the ignition to actually turn the vehicle power on and everything. Um, just as a safety measure, because I still have paths, so I need the key. I got this pretty sweet shifter. So this it's a 10 inch laid back shifter. So it'll actually be kind of like this angle here when it's in the car, which will put it towards me. Um, I have a bunch of random gauges. I have a DND quick release and an NRG short hub. I have an AEM a AFR gauge. Um, I got this, this is a, my own little fuse box. So I'm gonna tell I'm gonna wire all the interior stuff. Plus, um, I still need to put the power steering system together because I'm going to be running a cooler, which is right here. That'll be mounted somewhere up front. For headlights, I'm going to actually be using the actual headlight housings, but I'm going to be cutting them out to fit my LEDs that I had in the other car. Uh, so I'll have turn signals and shit like that. And then, you know, just bash bars. Like it's, it's very close to being drivable. I need to do my brake lines. Like I said, I'm going to do it this weekend. So I need to figure out the actual like master cylinder part of it so that I can actually get a pedal. Then I need to make a Linux exhaust. That's not going to be, not going to be hard. That's easy. So I'm not really worried about that. I have this piece here, which will mount my hydro. It bolts right to the shifter, I guess, boot, the heat boot or something right in the tunnel there. And then it puts it right off to the side and I just drill my own holes and mount my hydro where I please. I'll have to cut one of the dashboards. I have two dashes. I don't know which one I'll cut, but I have to cut one of them to fit around the cage. And then now because I have a fuel cell, I have to have a rear firewall just for safety purposes so I don't like, you know, go up in flames. Um, with that being said, the rear seats need to be deleted. <laughs> this car didn't come with a hood or a front bumper. I'm not sure if I'm running a front bumper yet. I do have the red hood. It's at the other shop still. I'm gonna end up either wrapping it black or painting it black, I don't know yet, but I wanna do a nice heat extractor so that I can actually, you know, stay cool when I'm hot lapping. I can't hot lap because the car gets hot, so. I'm hoping to solve that with a heat extractor and like no bumper, but and you know, like seats, like I, I still have all the stuff from the other car. That's just all going right in this one. The only thing that's different is the body. So she's coming along. She'll be done rather soon. I, I doubt we'll see a drifty season this year, maybe towards the end of the year with all this bullshit going on, but you better believe I'm going to drive this fucking car. I put all this money into this car and I'm going to street drive it. I'm going to do something with it. All right, well, that was my little update on what is going on with the new car. Um, it's almost done. If I actually start working on it more, it could probably be done real fast, but I've been lazy. <laughs> That's the update. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.